the what I wore this month video for the month of October 2016. Uh, this month I started tracking which pads I wore which days and then I lost track or got busy and didn't have time to write them into my app and before you know it uh, my period was over and it's been about a week since it ended so unfortunately I don't quite remember which days were which. I know which ones I used overnight and which ones I used towards the start and towards the end. So what I'm gonna do this month is just do something a little bit different. I've got um, my liners in one pile, my overnights in one pile, the pads I used for daytime use in one pile, and then my spoon flower pads in the last pile. And that's because right after I'm done this video I'm going to finally film the spoon flower fabric uh, review slash discussion video. I haven't been able to do that. Time just got away from me. And then I decided that seeing how my period was going to be relatively soon, once I did have the time, I figured I would use the pads that I had made for another cycle. So they've gotten um, two full uses prior to filming. So it's just, you know, more information to talk about in the video. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my liners here. I wore three, uh, two at the beginning and one at the end. I believe this one is the last one that I wore. But then I also wore this one and my Ursula. And these are all liners that I made myself. And then overnight, I've been trying to use my Halloween pads this cycle because this is likely going to be my Halloween cycle. Uh, my cycle was the very first week of October, October 1st to October 7th. Um, and it's, I'm probably not going to have another one until after Halloween, probably I'd say the second week of November. So I used my Halloween pads. Uh, this was actually the last pad that I used overnight. It's an amazing curvy style from Hoo Hoo Rags. It's a 14 inch um, white that's a heavy and it's cotton topped and windblock fleece on the back. I also use this 16 inch, I believe it's a heavy, or, yeah, three star heavy from Yurtcraft in my amazing print that I got, I believe around Halloween last year, the Cats and Pumpkins. And then I also used this amazing 16.5 inch from Mimi's Dreams. It's a heavy as well in my Vampire Hunks pad. Um, and I, this was an overnight. It's cotton topped and wind pro on the back. And as, of, as you probably know, if you have any ear crown pads, they are also cotton topped and wind pro backed. Closer to the end of my cycle, I wore this uh, 14 inch Homestead Emporium OBV topped wind pro backed pad overnight. And then this one as well overnight, it's a 16 inch Kirby from Hoo Hoo Rags. It is a heavy? Oh, I think white might actually be overnight, the other one. Um, they're wind block back, so nothing gets through these, so I don't really care too much what absorbency they are because it doesn't matter. I'll never bleed through it anyway, but yep, I love this one to bad. This is one of my favorite Hoo Hoo Rags pads. But who am I kidding? I have a million favorite Hoo Hoo Rags pads, so. Um, all right, and then my first two nights, I wore uh, these two Homestead Emporium Alti Max. It's, this is the largest one. It's 18 inches, OBV topped, wind pro backed. This is another OBV top wind pro backed in the same style. And that is all of my overnight pads. So now let's get into, I'll just move these ones aside for a moment. Because I'm not doing this day by day, it's just kind of a little bit quicker. So um, let's just get to it. This is a, an 11 inch, I think. Let's see. Oh no, this is a 12 inch. Um, moderate from Hoo Hoo Rags. It's cotton top, wind block back. And then I wore this 12 inch knit topped wind pro backed heavy from Lazy Creek. This 14 inch knit topped wind pro backed um, moderate. Yeah, 14, let's see right here, it says 14M from Lazy Creek Boutique. 
And then I uh, wore this for the first time. I actually it's like this because I wore it this way with the larger part towards the front. This is a 14 inch asymmetrical pad from the green option. It's knit topped and fleece on the back. And then I wore this 14 inch knit topped wind pro backed heavy from Lazy Creek Boutique. And this is one of my favorite Lazy Creek Boutique pads, the Little Shop of Horrors, and I had to wear this. I just love wearing this pad in general, but for Halloween as well. And then for the first time, I wore this 14 inch knit topped Win Pro, or Win, it's a type of Win Pro. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, it is a heavy from Grayson Street Emporium. And then I wore this 14 inch knit topped, um, Win Pro backed, I believe this is a heavy or a moderate, I'm not sure which. Um, it, again, with this backer, I'm never gonna bleed through it, so I really don't tend to memorize them all that much. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show pad from Greyhound Street Emporium, and this is my favorite GSE pad. But this one is now a very, very close runner up. This fabric is amazing. Uh, pad tie cloth has a pad in this and I've wanted one for quite some time because I absolutely adore Alice in Wonderland. It's my favorite Disney movie. Um, but just never seemed to uh, snag it at the right point when GSC um, listed her pads on Etsy. So I finally was able to snatch one up. She had a bulk um, order or um, a, a stocking for specific fabrics and I picked one up. So this is a 14 inch knit topped. Uh, I still can't remember what this is called. It's it's a Win Pro fleece, moderate. And then this one is pretty awesome. It's the first month I got to wear this as well. This is one of the few cotton topped Grayson Street Emporium pads that I have. And it is actually um, a pad that I won. She listed a few on her page and you commented to be entered uh, to win them. And I actually was managed to get lucky and was able to snake this one. And I really just love this print. The lemons on black is beautiful. And it is also Win Pro backed. And it's a... Uh, heavy, I believe. And then I got to wear, finally, it's been a little bit too warm to wear this pad a whole heck of a lot, but this is a 13 inch pad from Novel Red. It's a minky topped Sex Pistols slash Sid Vicious pad, and it is Win Pro backed. And then I wore this 12.5 inch um, plush style from Grayson Street Emporium. This is a custom order pad. She had a group buy for this as well and you got to pick your toppers. And I absolutely love this one. And it's Win Pro backed. And then yet another Grayson Street Emporium, big surprise. Uh, this one is my very first Sherpa pad from GSC. It's a custom die. She also had a group buy for this. It's 14 inch um, Win Pro backed. And it is a heavy. And this one is, of course, with the Sherpa and it being a heavy, it's a little bit more plush, but I found this super comfy to wear. It's amazingly soft. And then I wore another Sherpa pad and I really, really love this style from Hoo Hoo Rags. This fit me so well. I actually wore it this way towards the back and this way towards the front and it was amazingly comfortable. I don't need a wide flare in the back. I just tend to bleed a little bit towards the center, if at all. Um, but I can bleed pretty far back, so I do need some back coverage. But I've been lately, I've been bleeding in a wider pattern towards the front, and I don't know why that is, because I used to just bleed down the center, you know, front to back. But now I'm starting to bleed in a wider area, so I've been flipping some of these pads around, and this one was so, so comfy. And it's Sherpa as well, a custom dyed. It's cotton on the sides. I love how Allison does this. It's an exposed core. Um, so it's not bulky around the wings. Like you do get some wing coverage when it wraps around to the back. Let me just show you here. So you do, there is absorbency there, but it's just super trim because the Sherpa doesn't go all the way up to the wing. So I really like how she's doing that. It's pretty ingenious. So this is a Sherpa, Sherpa slash cotton top, uh, wind block backed, and it is a heavy, I believe, a heavier and overnight. 
but this is actually really thin. Whatever fleece she's using, I know it's wind block, but this type of wind block is so soft and super thin and I absolutely love it. And then um, I wore this 14 inch When Pigs Fly Mimi's Dreams pad. I know this, there's been a few that haven't been Halloween themed, but these are some of my favorites and I just can't help but wear them, especially because of the bleeding in a wider area towards the front. I just love the shape of this for that. Cause I, there were a few pads this cycle where I was bleeding off the sides. Um, it happened with a couple Grayson Street Emporiums, which honestly, it's completely not their fault. That was just my bleeding pattern and me not being used to bleeding that way. So not wearing a pad um, that was appropriate for it. But um, these ones are fantastic. And I think it's probably just the way my cervix was sitting this cycle. And then I also wore this 16 inch Rainbow Globes cotton topped Wind Pro Backed pad from Yurt Craft. As well as this amazing, this is my new favorite year craft pad, um, zombie pinups. I just love, this girl is just my absolute favorite with the brain in her hand. Um, and I love it this colorway. I just think it's just, I don't know, super pretty. So it's a cotton top heavy wind pro backed. And then the last pile that I've got here, they weren't worn at the end of my cycle. They were worn throughout. Um, I actually did bleed off a couple of these as well because, well, I didn't learn my lesson after it happened the first time. Um, but they're, these are all the spoon flower prints that I'm going to be discussing in my next video. So this is a 14 inch minky topped. These are all made by me. Uh, this is just an anti-pill fleece back and it's some moderate to heavy. This one still looks fantastic. As we know, Minky doesn't tend to fade at all. Um, I can put it in my OxyClean soak, no issues, and it comes out just as soft as ever. So that one's looking good. This one is also looking really good. These have all now been washed four times. Um, so it really gives you a good idea of what they look like after being used for a little while. Um, this is the Silky Fail topper with a cotton on the sides and I use this towards the end of my cycle and you know how when you get to the end of your cycle you tend to have that darker brownish bleeding that is awful for staining well I actually got pretty nervous uh, with this pad because I was certain there was gonna at least be some shadow staining that I was gonna have to fight with just because of the texture of this it's silky and it's white um, and nothing it washed up amazingly so I think I might order some of this in um, print that I'd want to have over a full pad or maybe I'll just make this and do a full pad and see how that goes but um, for what I've been using for this fabric has been doing a great job and then this is the knit fabric um, it had it faded after well it came in a lot lighter when it was shipped to me uh, then the picture showed and you'll I'll discuss that again in the upcoming video and it faded a bit after the first wash or so but it hasn't really faded too much beyond that um, it is knit topped and a micro fleece on the back and then this pad um, is actually not from this round of spoon flower pads but this is um, the retired poplin uh, it, this is a very, it's a cotton fabric and it's very silky feeling, but it's also, uh, it's hard to explain because it feels smooth, but it also feels kind of rough at the same time. It's very, very odd feeling fabric and I'm not sure, it's a little bit like, it's not very soft, um, but it feels silky. I don't know how to, it's like a thicker weave of the fabric so it's kind of odd for pads um but this one actually also did fade quite a bit uh this is actually supposed to be black and that's why i included this because you can see it's or i should say it's a very it's supposed to be a very very dark gray in the images and well as you can see it's almost like a brownie like a ruddy brownie gray at this point. And so it, it, this one is continuing to fade every time I wash it. Uh, but it is cotton poplin on the top, a 12 inch and um, wind pro on the back. And then this one is absolutely amazing still. This is a 14 inch peak topped pad. 
um, that I made myself in the versatile pattern, which I I'm loving. I really love this shape. Um, it is anti-pill on the back and it still looks exactly like when I first got it in. And then this one is the standard cotton. Um, I'll give you the exact names of them in, in the upcoming video, but it's cotton topper. It is faded tremendously and it continues to fade. It's actually quite fuzzy. Like the definition in the color is all gone. It's all bleeding into each other and it's just not ideal, but I love this fabric. So I will probably order a yard of it in um, peak most likely because the definition and the color retention of the peak fabric is amazing. So yeah, so that is how that one's looking. It's 14 inch anti-pill on the back. And then this is another spoon flower pad, not from this specific batch that I made, but it's one that I've made recently with a fabric that was ordered within the last six months. Uh, this is also the cotton, and as you can see, these are the same fabric. This one, even though this is dark, this one's light and it's also fading quite badly. I will show you a comparison with this, with um, the fabric uh, prior. Well, it's been washed once, it was prepped, um, but every wash cycle, this one's probably been washed four or five times now. It just keep, continues to fade and fade and fade, as is this one is. And the last pad of this cycle um, is this absolutely awesome, what is this called? Wicking jersey? No. Oh my goodness. I've got all the paperwork here for the Spoonflower video. What is that called? Oh, it's performance knit. Sorry. So this is like a wicking knit. Um, this is a 14 inch versatile shape and it is anti-pill on the back. And I have to say, this is a little bit more expensive than Peak is, but it's the same in terms of color definition and color retention and brightness. It's just a really, really beautiful fabric um, and it feels almost identical when worn. All right, so that is it. I have no idea how many pads are here. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, holy moly, 22, 24, 26, 28, 31. So 31 pads and three liners. As I said, this was a particularly heavy cycle for me. It lasted seven days. Four of it was heavy, heavy, heavy bleeding and I was changing my pads every couple of hours. So. That's why so many, um, but there wasn't too much cramping. It just was a heavier cycle, and I think it's just because my last cycle was shorter. So that's it, ladies, uh, for my What I Wore This Month for October 2016. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.